Gibraltar Pride saw support from across the community with charity and information stalls at Casemade Square on a day of speeches, marching and entertainment. Ahead of the day, the government, opposition parties and the governor had backed the event. The Chief Minister, Fabian Picardo, spoke of progressive change in the community. Some parts of the world are going backwards. But I told Parliament last year, and I will repeat in Parliament on Tuesday, on issues relating to equal rights, Gibraltar has no reverse gear. It's going forward. Opposition leader Keith Osopardi said his party was committed to a diverse society. I believe firmly in equality. As far as I am concerned, while I remain leader of the GSD, it will be clear. Equality will be at the heart of our program and our commitment to a diverse society will remain. And representing Together Gibraltar, Eddie Wood, himself openly gay, said pride is not about anger or bitterness, but rather making a better world to live in. The whole of the Together Gibraltar family, and especially from myself, I would like to wish you all, and to the world beyond, a very happy Pride. Mayor Christian Santos, also openly gay, spoke about embracing differences. A lot has changed in the last 10 years with regards to policy and law. Here we have equal rights legally, but socially there is still work to be done. We still face people's negative opinions or bullying, because of our sexual or gender identity. This is a small minority, but it still exists. It's not isolated to Gibraltar, it is an issue all around the world. This is an issue that needs addressing. And we live in a very tolerant community, but we need to change that. We need to become an accepting community. Samantha Sacramento spoke about being proud to be Gibraltar's first Minister for Equality and the LGBTQ plus committee's Lorraine Oliveira also spoke and urged those present to march for their pride. A message was read out on behalf of the governor, Sir David Steele, who was unable to attend. A march then proceeded along Main Street, led by the chief minister and other speakers, with police estimating between 500 to 600 participating. Organizer Lorraine Oliveira said the success of the event exceeded all the committee's expectations. We knew they'd be good because we worked hard, but it has completely uh, gone above our expectations. I'm still trying to, to get my head around the fact of the, the atmosphere, the turnout, the support has just been unbelievable. Does this give you confidence for another Pride event next year to make it an annual event? A hundred percent, yes, absolutely. I'm actually excited for the next one because now, now we have a, a platform, now we have to build on it and just do bigger and better. And that's exactly what we'd like to do next year. We're already talking about the next one. So yes, absolutely. It feels amazing because everyone's equal and it's nice to know that everyone supports what everyone decides to be. So it's nice to have it. And have a nice time with your friends and stuff like that. Absolutely amazing. It's about time. It's about time. It's about time. It's amazing. About time. Hallelujah. Like, it, like, I feel so honoured and so proud to be here for the first one. I think it's amazing that finally Gibraltar has accepted everyone and that it's, it's a long time coming and that we're really proud that Gibraltar has now accepted everyone and that's how the way it should be everywhere in the world. I think it's amazing. I mean, we've only been here two years, obviously during lockdown and things, uh, but to know that it is... Um, yeah, the first official pride that it's had, I think it's amazing, it's really progressive, really makes us feel at home here, um, yeah, I think it's a great, great fun. Very inclusive, yeah, yeah. yeah. really enjoying it. The celebration then continued through the afternoon and evening, featuring both local and international acts, including musicians, dance acts and drag queens from the UK.